Hi, I'm Brian Art. In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to do screen replacement tracking with Mocha AE. Okay, so what we're trying to do here is we're going to try to take this green screen footage. As you can see, it's just a handy cam on a solid green I put on a monitor. We're going to take uh, this image, which is from a light wrap video I tutorial I put up earlier. And we're going to replace the screen. So let me show you the trick to doing it. So After Effects, I think it's CS6 and up, added Mocha as a default for tracking. So all you gotta do is highlight the background that you wanna track, go up to Animation, Track in Mocha AE. Hit OK. So this gives you your background layer everything that you had. You can scrub by just grabbing this bar here in Mocha. Now Mocha can be a little overwhelming. Uh, the AE version is scaled down, so it's not as bad. There's multiple ways you can track. Um, if you go over up here, there's these things called splines. You can create an X-spline, create Beezer. I like to create an X-spline. So what the goal of the X-spline is, is you wanna get a big area around the monitor. So you just click, left click, left click, left click, left click and then right click to stop so I want to get a few items in here I'm trying to track that screen but to do that to get the best track you want to make sure you have a lot of other elements that it can track like the corners of the screens stuff like that okay that should be wide enough also what I'm going to do is up here there's this little s in a square it's called show planar surface you click this and see this blue little outline sometimes it'll be in the corner when you open it sometimes it won't this shows you where the actual tracker marker is gonna be if you do a corner pin. If you just left click and drag, you can see up in the top corner, it's showing you where the marker is gonna be. So you just wanna place it pretty close to the corners of the screen. Okay. You want it a little bit bleeding over because you can always crop in on something. All right. Then all you gotta do is go down here where it says track, and there's track to next frame, tracks forward. And you just click track forward. Okay, once it completes, you can actually scrub through and see how well it did. And then if you need to, you can adjust by dragging these and then hit track again, it'll track forward and replace them. <clears throat> Pretty spot on, it's got a little bit of slipping. Just gotta keep tweaking it. When you're done, you go down here to export tracking data, click it, it has multiple options. There's After Effects corner pin, corner pin only, After Effects corner pin supports, supports motion blur, and After Effects transform data. We're gonna do the normal corner pin. And you just hit copy to clipboard and save your mocha. Okay, so we go back in. We're gonna take our light wrap layer, go to effects controls, and then you just paste. And it'll paste the corner pin that you just tracked. Okay. As you can see, there's a little bit of slipping. It's not a perfect corner pin. Um, probably need to spend a little more time on it. One thing you can also do is you can put in a transform and scale it up just to like 101, just a little bit. It'll bleed over the edges, but this isn't a perfect track. You, The track is not slipping too much. You can see it's pretty spot on. Um, it does take a little bit more blending to actually get the final result, but in this tutorial, I'm just gonna show you how to track it. Uh, we'll do a future tutorial that's a lot more advanced so you can see kind of like, this is more like a finalized track with a blended screen. And that's how to do corner pin tracking with Mocha AE, which is built into After Effects. I think CS6 and above, if I remember correctly. So, hope you enjoyed it. 
please uh, follow and I'll post more tutorials and you can subscribe to my Patreon where I'll post a lot more advanced tutorials. And thank you.